Museum Planet is going to take you on a tour. The Basilica of San Marco, but a tour like no one who's ever been there has ever had. With the play button. San Marco sits at the entrance to Venice. It is the most popular spot in the city. The historian John Julius Norwich has written that Venice was born and brought up Greek. Certainly, the Byzantine influence is strongest in the silhouette of St. Mark's Basilica, one of the most... Sum there are the portal decorations that, around the that wrap around the murals on the outside that depict people working in the fields, grain workers, wine workers. Absolutely amazing. The Venetians were Catholic, but they were about money and they were about commerce, and they weren't afraid to talk about it. Now you see the scales there, merchant working in the fields with some grain. Absolutely amazing. And then, of course, there are the famous murals, inside and out. The outside murals are newer, most often 18th century. Incredible. The whole thing is decorated with this curly Q sculpture at a, just a monumental cost. But you have to remember, Venice was a trading power and a very, very wealthy trading power. It was the Switzerland to the 10th power of its day. I'll take you inside quickly. We show you murals that aren't really available to the public. I'll stop here at the... Uh, um, Dome of Joseph mosaics. They're numbered. Each one is explained. The dream of Joseph. Reuben, the eldest brother. Jacob weeps for the death of Joseph. Incredible. We take you to the front murals in the porch, um, which are not really open to the public because it's an entryway. We were in there at night and able to photograph it. Everything is explained. The North Narsex. Incredible. These are some of the oldest murals in San Marco II, back to the 12th century.